All right, so <clears throat> moving on, talking a little bit now about networking. Networking is actually a lead gen <clears throat> activity. So it would have been one that you would come up with on your lead gen ideas. And I'm going to task you with that. I mentioned it earlier in the previous uh, video or audio, uh, but I'm actually going to make that a homework problem for you to actually sit down and come up with some lead gen. And I'm going to set a goal so that you come up with 50 of them. I think 50 is a realistic number, 50 ways that you can generate leads. One of them is going to be networking. Networking is a version of lead generation. It is a uh, <clears throat> deliberate, intentional meeting of another professional who can help further or champion your cause by being a referral to you. And networking is a big, big deal. There are a lot of networking groups. Typically, networking involves professionals getting together. There are very few social networks that I'm trying to think about. Facebook claims to be a social network. Um, to some extent, I guess you can look at it that way. I'm thinking more like Business Network International, BNI, um, Chamber of Commerce, uh, any of your professional groups anything where you get together to meet other professionals that have a interest in doing business. And typically the best way networking happens is when you go to one of these BNI groups and here you are and there are, you know, a bunch of other people that also are in this group. The idea is that they get to know you and understand you so that when they have a real estate need, they can refer you to their client. All right, let me give you an example. Suppose this is an HVAC guy and he's in your BNI network. When he goes out to service a property for their HVAC in the warm weather, and this person says, oh, I'm tired of this house, it's too old, I really want to uh, sell it, maybe buy a new one. He then goes, hey, you know what? I know Raymond. Why don't you call Raymond, tell him Bob sent you, and Raymond will list your house for you. Conversely, what your responsibility is during this network is when you're out here, selling a house to a client or listing it and they go, oh, I would love to list my house for sale, but I know that I've got some HVAC issues uh, that I'm going to have to address before we put the house on the market. You then go, oh, let me introduce you to Bob and Bob will then come out and look at the HVAC issue and I deal with Bob a lot, so I trust him and I understand that he's going to be fair and honest and uh, you get that taken care of. So what this networking group does, as you can see, it creates this mesh of people that are interconnected so that everybody is dealing with a group of people and you've got all kinds of connections and what you have done is leveraged these other group of people to become a lead gen source for you. So this is not really a direct lead generation topic. Now, maybe Bob will buy a new house at some point, he may call you, but that's typically not why you get into networking groups. You get into networking groups so you can deal with Bob's 80 or 800 uh, HVAC calls he's made during the year. And you get in with the carpet guy, so when all his, you know, 150 deals of carpets a year all can refer to you and then you now have a network of a carpet guy and a plumbing guy and an HVAC guy and a you know a car dealer and whomever and you can create that topic that network and that's the whole point in it is to create an indirect lead generation source and virtually have a second or a third, or in some cases, 40 other people being your sales rep for you. And now I know specifically BNI that they have to attend the meetings, they have to be present, and if they're not, like two or three times, 
they actually can be kicked out of that BNI group. So if there are some very strict rules with joining to that. There's also a strict rule on how many of one certain type they allow. So the good thing about that is they may only allow two realtors, uh, realtors to be in that group. That way you don't have 56 that Bob has to report. Oh, well, he's got 56 people in that group that are all licensed agents. I'm never going to get any deals from Bob. No, BNI, I believe, and don't quote me on the number. I know I'm correct in the fact that they limit the number of professions. It may be two, it may be one, it may be three. I'm not really sure what that number is, but they do limit so that Bob is always dealing with one of these two agents. And conversely, there's only, you know, one or two HVAC people so that they're only dealing with one or two. So you are going to generate some indirect lead gen through this BNI group. Chamber of Commerce could be the same way. Now, I don't believe they limit the number of professions in there or the number of professionals in a profession. So you could end up with the fact there might be 57 agents joined to the Greenwood Chamber of Commerce. Now, I've never been a member, so if that's incorrect, please call me or email me and call me and let me know. But I am positive that BNI does limit the professionals in their group. And you kind of have to wait till one person decides to check out before they allow a new agent to come in. You know, you can't just go join because you want to. There actually has to be an opening in your profession. And that is for your safety as well as everybody else's. That way, Bob doesn't end up with 47 agents in one BNI group. And Bob has 47 choices. And you think, well, I'm only going to get one out of 47. So it's one out of two or one out of three. I think it's two or three. All right. So and of course, there is a cost for that. And that goes back to that budgeting of whole legion concept. So the benefit is that you are actually leveraging the network of another professional, just like they are going to leverage the, your network. So those are your responsibilities inside of that networking group is to make sure that you refer out that person. I have seen potential issues where there was a person in a BNI group and they failed to refer at least as one of the choices, a couple of the other people. And there was some grievances filed about, Hey, you know, Bob's in our group, but Bob's not referring me to anybody, but yet here I am referring Bob. I don't feel he's holding up his responsibility of this group. And they have asked people to leave or not be involved. So you still have some responsibilities inside of this because they, that other professional, is using you to do the same thing you're using them for. And if you can search around, there's several different BNI groups and you might want to look for one that's obviously geographic close. I mean, you could in theory be a BN, in a BNI group in Kokomo, Indiana and live in Greenwood. It may not behoove you because you may end up getting all of Bob's referrals, who's an HVAC guy in Kokomo, to all Kokomo listings. And now you're driving all the way up there. But that might be something that you would entertain. So you want to kind of look around your geographic area. Is there one, you know, in Greenwood and maybe the one in Center Grove or one on the near south side or maybe the downtown one or Mooresville or Shelbyville? Or, hey, I, I'll drive to Fishers and be part of that group. Um, so keep an eye out as to which BNI group or which networking group that you can do at any time. Now, there are a lot of what they call ad hoc networking groups that might meet. Um, I'm trying to think of the one here in Indy. There's one where they have, you know, luncheons once a month. And what they're doing is trying to create this informal network. Uh, because there is no structure in that, you do end up with, you know, hey, there was 12 HVAC guys and no plumbers that show up to this lunch. So you've got to kind of establish some kind of continuity in that. Whereas I keep going to BNI because I know it's structured in the professions they allow in 
and the number of professionals they allow in. Uh, there's one it's called Networking at Night, that's it. It is designed for all these business people to meet each other so that then you can leverage their network and you get to know that person and you refer them somebody and they refer you somebody. So networking is a viable lead gen source. You just need to find out which networking group is going to be good for you. Like I said, that could depend on the opening. That could depend on the number of people that are actually in the group. You might want to look at turnover in the group. How often do are they turning over people? Uh, if you've gone to several networking at night meetings and there's different people every month, that may be a clue that this is not going to be a very viable solution for you. All right. So keep that in mind with lead gen that networking is one viable source and it's probably a very good successful source because you are gaining the network of 20, 30, 40 other people to help you spread the word of your career. All right, let's keep going.